This is a scale model I built to emulate the erosion control function of Peter Andrew's natural sequence farming system. And as you will see, it's just a, a copy of a, um, a, a basic gully that uh, water rushes through. And where that gully does not have any vegetation or has insufficient vegetation, the water quickly rushes through, taking all the soil with it uh, and any organic material, leaving a deeply incised gully. And that deeply incised gully obviously will have nothing growing in it. And as you'll see, the sides of the gully are effectively dry because whenever the rain comes down, the uh, the water has no time to to stay in the land in the soil, doesn't uh, irrigate the latter the the lateral sides of the landscape, and the water just uh, continually leaves the property. So according to the Peter Andrew system, we just introduce a couple of uh, leaky weirs which are based on the contour, and as you'll see now, when the water comes down, that water pulls up above the very top contour or the very top leaky weir and slowly seeps down through it, underneath it, and when it fills up, it actually leaks around it on both sides, and then forming back again on to collect again at the uh, at the second one. Now, there will be a little bit of soil movement here, which is a, uh, a feature of the model, not of real life. It doesn't actually happen in real life. But the general principle is that the water is slowing down, the sediment is dropping out, and collecting at the top of those weirs in that t of those leaky weirs in that typical deltoid sort of shape, you'll notice that the water is actually sl much slower coming out of the end of the of the model, uh, which uh, is exactly what happens in in real life. So when the rain stops running or stops flowing, the water behind those contours will slowly leak away, leaving behind uh, very thick deposits of organic material and soil and they will remain moist for a much longer period than uh, when we didn't have the controls in place, allowing uh, vegetation to grow and take over the structure of those contours and perform their function. So we've added some seed, and uh, just to demonstrate this, and we've added some soil to top up those, uh, those bare patches, and within a few weeks you'll see on this slide that the grass is starting to grow, but notice also that the soil is still wet. You can see, except for the um, very, very extreme uh, sides, the, 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 the soil is still wet, allowing the grass to grow and in very short time it's, uh, it's covered very clearly with some very thick grass. Now when you understand that pattern, you can see it everywhere. Here are some slides of uh, the exact same pattern occurring on, on concrete in a gutter in Greensboro. Uh, the water normally will just rush down that gutter and end up in the drain. But when the uh, street sweepers don't do their job properly and there's a bit of organic material and a bit of soil and a bit of rubbish builds up at various spots, the water will actually build up behind those uh, effectively leaky weirs and uh, slow the water flow down. And so exactly the same way as in the previous model, when that water is allowed to slow down, it pulls up behind the contour, the sediment drops out, and you'll see the formation of that typical deltoid shape of uh, soil formation which is uh, building up as a as a growth area behind the contour and as the water slowly drains off the conditions are right for growth <coughs> and as you can see in this next slide a close-up of that same pool of water you've actually had growth uh, of grass and weeds growing in that organic matter that's collected so effectively using this system you are able to grow grass on concrete these leaky weirs are part of Peter Andrews' natural sequence farming system. Peter's system can be found at nsfarming.com or you can email me at gmdonahue at optusnet.com.au